Charlie, you guys wrapped up the 2012 half of the year with non-conference action against Kent State, getting your first win on the road against them. Talk about that game and you know how it feels to finally get that first win on the season. It was a great win. We worked really hard. Um, we were down, you know, most of the game, and uh, as opposed to other games in the past where we had close games, but we were up early. We were down, especially uh, deep into the second half, and. Uh, used a great run down the stretch as far as uh, getting stops on defense and causing turnovers to propel us to, uh, to, to make that run and, uh, and uh, finally uh, you know, walk across with a handshake on a win. Artemis Fanu in that game had 21 second half points and she's been playing phenomenal this year so far. She actually is averaging 13, a little over 13 rebounds per game, which is fourth in the nation. Talk about her performance and her leadership out there a little bit. Yeah, you know, Artemis kind of up and down sometimes throughout her career, and you know she's limited those moments this year as far as now being a junior. You know, hopefully the growth is is setting in, and um, you know she's done a good job for us as being more steady. Uh, she had some trouble turning the ball over early in the year, and uh, you know that was frustrating for her because she was taking some steps back, and uh, you know we just we had to limit those a lot more than she was doing. So we got those down a little bit, and uh, she's she's being tough and. Um, you know, that game uh, against Kent State, you know, things didn't fall for her early on, and uh, she still wound up with 28, and uh, down the stretch where the big big buckets were there, and the putbacks and the hustle plays. Um, it was a good game for her because Artemis has always been tough when she starts off well, but when she starts off slow and misses some shots that she usually makes, um, sometimes in her younger years she would, you know, kind of go in the can, but now um, she's starting to, you know, have those days where she, um, she elevates herself down the stretch. So she was a big lift because she definitely put the ball in the basket for us down the stretch. And, um, you know, that's something we've struggled with with the youth that we had on our team so far this year. Coming up this weekend, you guys kick off NEC action. Now that non-conference is out of the way and conference play has come into play, talk about, you know, what changes? Um, is there a different mindset that going into these games now that this is what matters now that you're in NEC play? Yeah, so it's really nice to get that win because now we're going into conference play and we, we know that we can get that win. And, uh, you know, we've already felt it now. Um, people, you know, that have followed the program over the years have come up to me and, you know, it's how you got to be tough for you guys. You guys have won 20 games most of the, every year you've been here. And, you know, this year starting off so slow. But, you know, going into this conference game, I, I mentioned on the radio after the game with Adam Gusky, um, we, uh, if we could take one of the wins, you know, if we were only going to take one win away from the non-conference, if we could take one of the wins, it would have been the last game because it's nice to get that last win. And we came back from Christmas. It was our first game. And we want to win that game, you know, because it's so important to come back a different team. You know, some teams have started off really well before Christmas and then, you know, flattened out after Christmas. It's really two seasons. You know, Christmas is that break. You have the season before and the season after. So um, we're just excited the fact that we were able to get this win for the young kids and, and get them to taste it, what they can do, and go into this game now and say, hey, you know, now it's our first conference game. We, we, we got the win last time. We went on the road and won. We're back home. All right, no need to be comfortable. We have a lot of work to do, but we can win, and now they believe it because they just went out and did it. You guys are here at home this weekend at the, at the Soul Center where you've played very well in conference play over the last seven or eight seasons with only six, going 61-12 and 12 since the 05 year. Mm -hmm. Talk about what is it about this place that makes you guys play so well and you know, makes your girls get those wins? Well, there's a combination of a few things. I think we've had some really high talented players over the years that have, you know, and when you're at home and you got a lot of talent, um, you're going to win. You know, it's it's like Kentucky men's team. You know, they, they won how many games, you know, at home. I think mean, Coach Calipari didn't lose a game for like three years at home. I don't think he like his first career loss at home was like three three years something into his career there. So, um, you know, you get, you get good players and, you know, wins will pile up. But... Um, you know, I think a lot of it has to do with also is just our, our regiment here when, we, when we're at home as far as our travel regiment. You know, when we're home, it's like it's a great thing, you know, because in the conference especially, you know, um, we go on the road in the conference. It's so tough for us because we constantly are, you know, a flight away every time we play except for PA, um, which is our only bus trip the same day. Everything else is a flight out or a long bus ride. So, um, you know, depending on weather. So, um I think it has a combination to do with it. You know, when we're home, we know, hey, we got to get these because the road's going to be tough. And, we, you know, we got to assure ourselves, you know, that when we're here, we're, we take care of business. So, and remember, too, you know, uh, we're product of, uh, of habit, you know, and, and routines. And uh, 
teams that come from over out in uh, New Jersey, New York, uh, you know, Maryland area, you know, they're used to that same day travel also. So they only have to do this once, but when they come and do it, it's like, oh my God, this is like a nightmare. <laughs> so with us, we're like, hey, this is no big deal. We do it all the time. We go out to you guys like every trip. But for them, it's like every time I go out on the court for like a shoot around to say hello to one of my friends in the conference or something, they look at me and they say, oh, we hate this trip. This trip is terrible. <laughs> and I say to them, well, what's so terrible about it? We do it seven times. You do it once. So, um, you know, anyways, I think that has something to do with the two in the league that I think those teams kind of dread this trip coming out here. So, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're a tough team, and uh, we've been tough in the past. This year we haven't won as much, but, you know, I think once these kids grow up a little bit and, you know, freshmen become sophomore, and hopefully that happens this year where they, they go grow beyond their years, um, I think you'll see, you know, again, us being a lot tougher at home than, you know, obviously we showed early on. And, um, you know, Coach Sale will, you know, keep working with them. Assistants will keep working with them. And, uh, obviously, you know, the leadership on this team is really strong. And, uh, you know, we'll stick together and hopefully we'll make that run, you know, start happening again. Lastly, Coach, you kick off the, C the NEC season with CCSU this Saturday. What can we expect to see from them? You have four straight wins over them, and can we expect to see anything different? Oh, uh, you know, all those four straight wins you could throw right out the window. You know, every time we play every one of these teams, um, it's always a tough battle. And CCSU is well coached. Um, you know, watching them on film, they're, you know, they're scary. You know, they, get, they got some senior-laden players on their team. Uh, they got a lot of experience. And, um, you know, she runs a system that these players are used to, as opposed to us, where we have freshmen that are learning us and we're learning them. So, um, you know, I would expect a really tough game. I mean, they're going to be, they're going to come after it. They push the ball well. They like to get the ball out and go. They like to play fast. They like to try to cause turnovers. They switch up defenses. Um, you know, they do a lot of things that, uh, you know, if, if you're letting it bother you, you know, they'll, they'll smell blood and they'll go right after you. So, um, you know, this next game is, is one of the tougher games that we could have probably matched up with, you know, first week uh, of conference. The only difference is, is we're at home and they got to come all out this way. So hopefully that'll, you know, that'll help us a little bit. You know, the fact that we haven't had this chance very often with having only a few home games out of conference. So, um, Hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll come out and uh, we'll seize the moment here and, uh, you know, play real big and our freshmen could somehow, you know, outduel their upperclassmen. Great. Thanks, Charlie. Good luck Saturday. Thanks.